Hi everybody. Welcome to our channel or welcome back to our channel. You want to say if they're if you're new? You want to? The kids are in the other room. They'll be back shortly. Um, you'll have to excuse my hair. We just walked through the rain and I'm damp. So it's doing its own thing now. Anyway. Hi little wolf. We have a little wolf. A pretty little wolf, yeah. He's my good boy. Mom's in the bathroom. Kids are in my room playing on Sega or GameCube or something. I don't know what. And yes, I know that sounds like I'm gone back in time, but they have the old vintage video games. Chris collects them. His big goal in life is to someday open a video game museum where all the exhibits are actually playable. So... I think that would be cool. Anyway, it's Friday. We obviously made it home through the fog. If you saw our shorts, you know. The fog actually got better. Grandma's coming back. Yeah, say hi to the video. Hey, guys. The fog actually got better on our way back from Marion. Yeah. I think it was because it rained and it kind of cleaned it out. Yeah. Damn. Oh, I'm Chris. I'm patting the pooch as I'm over here. Ouch. Because the pooch needs pat. No paws, buddy. No paws. <laughs> Those paw paws are killer. Yeah. Their talons is what they are, I'll have you know. I tell the world. It's a great big boy. Ben, what are you doing? Good heavens. What are you testing now? The Saturn. Okay. The Saturn. I got a disc to test it with. It's not a game. We'll get that later. Poor Wolfie. Ooh, Poor Wolfie. They could play with a dog. That would be more fun than a video game. Yep. Yeah. Nothing looks like he pulled his button for bear. So we're taking Bonnie to Walmart tomorrow. Yeah. We got John's Walmarting done today. Picked up the prescriptions. Went to Flying Monkey. Chris spent his payday. Makes it sound like I did something today. I didn't do crap. <laughs> It was rainy and my back hurt, so I didn't do anything. I know what you mean. Believe it or not. Oh, tomorrow is now and never on this bananas. No, I know me and Chris were just talking about him. Yeah. Wolfie, would you stop licking the camera? Well, he kissed the family and the family. He kissed all the friends. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna turn it off. <laughs> gonna turn it off pretty soon. Well, you just teach him how. But... So, if this video ends suddenly, look for part two. Because it could happen. It could happen. Some of those are mine. And I've got to make up my pills tonight. So, don't let me forget them. Oh, I, I only have to make up my pills in their little daily portions once every 17 days. Because my pill boxes hold eight days each and I have two of them and then I do the day that I'm doing them at the same time so it's 17 <sighs> you would think for not having to do it any more than that it wouldn't be a big deal oh. I hate to do it you'd think I have to do it every night of my life the way I carry on yeah Oh. How do people do that when, with all those bottles and this and there? I used to do that at the pharmacy. Yeah. I used to play with pills all day. Did not phase me in the least. But let it be my pills. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> then the bitchin' commences. Wolfie. I make him leave because I'm always afraid he's going to bounce on the bed or something and spill... 75 poisonous pills, and I'll never find them all. Ugh. Yeah, I'll do that one. I don't test him far as I can throw his Mommy, butt. don't do that. He's got a bouncy yeah. little tush. I'm moving on to part two, Wolf. 
I wish I could show you the expression on his face, but he'll... Mark wants a success. He quit it. I'm checking on everybody. Well, he's a good boy. Yeah. He's pretty good for a stinky dog. Now the internet knows you're stinky. And spoiled. Well, they already knew he was spoiled. <laughs> Goodness, everybody knowed he was spoiled. Spoiled like sour milk. As spoiled as spoiled could be. If he was milk, he's so spoiled he'd be cheese. <laughs> That's how spoiled this boy is. Okay, now seriously. You have a dog to put love and pleasure and companionship into your life. Unless it's a service dog or something. That's a different kettle of fish, I'll admit, you know. But still, they do it anyway. So, that's the purpose of having a dog. Why would you not spoil that dog? Yeah. What? What? Hi. That's, that's like against the whole reason you have one in the first place. It's mommy right here. Oh, he's going to get on him. Grandma's beating him with the pill bag. He doesn't seem to be minding. He's wagging. And wallering. Uh-oh. There goes this sheet. <laughs> Uh-oh. There goes this sheet. Oh, you silly dog. He does love to waller. He loves Who does? Who does? Yeah, he Come does. He really does. Come on. Kiss him a little bit. You just oh. lay there and be good. You just lay there and be good. And don't waller, she says. Says, don't you waller on her bed. He takes those feet and scratches, and next thing you know, she's got a big old it's hole in shred. her sheet. I, yeah, I got a brief a hole in this one. Do you? Um, you, have yeah. you have a hole in this one? Oh, Lord, yes. Well, I know you had a hole in the last one. I'm sure there's one in here. Nah, oh, hell, who cares? <laughs> who cares? <laughs> About the time she gets her toes stuck in there at 4 a.m., she'll care. <sighs> Oh, goodness. But no. Oh, goodness. Gracious. But no, he's just a great big baby. Oh, my goodness. He's a sheep-killing hound, though. He's determined to get into something, isn't he? Mom's just laying on him and hugging him a little bit, and he's going... <laughs> like a hog in the... Mm -hmm. Rotten dog. He is rotten dog. Rotten dog. Oh, he's our good boy, though. Yeah. I was just over at Flying Monkey with the kids. Oh, and, cozy. and I was sitting out there in the parking lot and thinking about how Bo would have been out there with me and how Wolf would have torn me up by now. <laughs> if I'd sat and waited in the car with him that long, he... He'd have found the unlock buttons. <laughs> it, yeah, yeah, it would have been bad. But I yeah. still missed him just the same. Yeah. He gets tired of everybody saying Bo is a good dog. Wolf is a good dog. Wolfie, yeah, Bo Wolfie is a fun is... southern gentleman. <laughs> Wolfie's a rowdy boy. Yeah, yes. I tell mom all the time he's a naughty boy for life. No, no, no. He is, and he's proud of it, too. No, 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 no. He's a good boy. He's just watching those kids, and his eyes are so bright. Mm -hmm. His ears yeah. are... Them's his boys. He's going to make sure they don't get in trouble. Well, and if they find any trouble, he'll go help them. <laughs> you know what you didn't do yet, Chris? What? W-A-L-K. I'll take care of that after my next test. Okay. Because I'll find any weekends. What? I can't spell it quickly mm -hmm. like you would, like G-O-N-E, you know. Mm -hmm. I, you can't say the letters that close together. He knows the word. Yes. Dog got us all outsmarted. I could name three or four things he does that with, and I was going to, but then I realized he would want the three or four things mm -hmm. I was going to name. Yeah, so I can't them. even tell. I can't say them, no. I'll tell you. You're rotten. 
You don't even know why I'm calling you rotten, but you're rotten. Very pleased with himself. Oh, he's so big. You won't fall off the bed. I want to push you off the bed. Grandma. She said she was going to push him off the bed. How wooed. How bad and mean is grandma. How wooed. Them a mean old gal. Yeah. She picks on little puppies. I'm the fire dog to grow up. I'm, I'm spoiled in this family. Do you see what I have? <gasps> what is that? It's a winged deer. Winged ready? Deer. Are you ready? Ooh, that's the best throw I ever made in my life. I'll never be able to do another throw again that good. I meant for it to land right, and it landed perfectly right beside him. In the right direction and everything. everything. Now put a, I, I, I know I'm not really supposed to say that word on YouTube, but put a G-U-N in my hand and I can hit whatever I want to hit. Yeah. I, I don't know why that is. I'm not bragging yeah. on myself. It's dad. It, it's just inherited. Yeah. He used to target practice on bumblebees. Yeah. And uh, it used to drive my first husband crazy because he tried and tried and tried and he never Couldn't could do it as well as me. Bar. Never could do it as well as me. And I'd just pick it up and go, and he'd be like, <laughs> He said, the police stand for yes. everything. Can't hit nothing. Oh, bless. But anyway, what I started to say about that is, I can S H O O T and hit anything I care to hit. Yeah. But I could never throw things. Yeah. I, I just I suck at it. Yes, you did. The the problem Well, was, one time. Yeah. The bus driver. Pie in the face. I knew that's where you were going. I know. Everybody it. knows says he had shocked the living crap out of everybody that was there. How old was I? About five or six? Oh, younger than five, maybe four. Four? Okay, I was a little girl. Little kid. L little, little kid. And, and I said, uh, Get him right in the face, Desi. They had this thing where you could throw, it was really just a little whipped aluminum cream. pan full of whipped cream. And you could throw it at a teacher or at a bus driver or whoever had their head through the it's little cutout. Take on cut the out. man in the water thing. Yeah. And, uh, he got one try for like a dollar or something and it went toward the school and it was at a school carnival kind of situation. And so they were expecting me to just throw the pie about two feet yep. and have it just land down in, the, in floor. the floor. And of course I wouldn't be telling this story if I hadn't thrown it right smack dab yeah, in the middle of his face. Everybody just died. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, the guy that got hit was a bus driver. It was pretty funny. Yes, it was hilarious. All I knew was that, us to death. <laughs> all I knew is that everybody thought I was hot shit yes, for a couple yes. minutes. <laughs> you always were good with the balloons too. With the what? Balloons. Oh yeah. Balloons. Chris, man, that's the one. Chris is legally blind and every day he's legally blinder. He has not good eyesight. And um, still, take him to a carnival, find him a balloon pop, and he'll stand there and win whatever prize your little heart desires. He, he can stand there and just throw and pop him and pop him and pop him. Usually we don't end up with the big prizes because you got to keep paying more and yeah. more and more and trade in your little prize. So we just don't do that. But like the last time we went to one, he hit the balloon and the four around it popped. The guy was like, how did you do that? <laughs> I was like, how did you do that? It's a secret to that. Always so with the lighter colored balloons. Because oh, they will funny. pop easier. The darker colored ones are thicker rubber. Oh. And you got to get on the last yet to pop cables, guys. But the light colored ones are thin. That was that was uh, the Lone Ranger that just went through. <laughs> the Lone Stranger. The Lone Stranger, yeah. 
I'm not going to get my bedroom back tonight, am I? Doesn't sound like it. Didn't think so. Oh. Now, what did they used to call that when we they had that little little fair, that little festival? Oh, it, it was just a school festival. School something. Yeah. I always wanted to pay do the cake walks. Oh, well, the carnival too. They, some they call them different things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you guys ever have a cake walk? Cake walk at something? It's where there's all these chairs with numbers on the back of them, and everybody. It's kind of like um. What's the one where they take the chairs away? I don't know. Yeah, I was thinking about that one. Anyway, instead of taking chairs away, everybody just walks around and around until the music stops. Then you sit down at what chair you're at, and then they reach in their little bucket there, and they pull out a chair number, and whatever number corresponds with that chair, if you're sitting in it, you win a cake. Sometimes it'll be your choice, or sometimes it'll be one they picked. But one time, I won my daddy a lamb shake coconut cake. He loved coconut cake. And he dropped it on the way out. Did he? I've, I've got that part. He dropped it on the way out. It was completely encased in saran wrap. Yeah. He ate it. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know, it was just as clean as it was when it was right yeah. side up. Yeah. But I was disappointed because it was so pretty. Because it was cute and it fell down. Yeah. But and anyway, he ate that. Okay, I won that from my daddy. Then. That was before I give up doing anything for my daddy. Yes. Shortly. <laughs> Shortly before. Oh, every now and then I'd take a wild hair and do something. Oh, please, please. But from that point on, pretty much, I, if I was doing anything, I was doing it for Nanny. Yeah. She appreciated it. She wasn't faking it. <laughs> He was, You're he, was while he was thanking you. He was looking at her evil eye. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Tell him, do it right, Ernest. One time, Dad took, we were having a sale at school where everybody had to sell magazines to raise money for something or another. Hard to tell what the hell we were raising money for. Sometimes it would be candy bars, but this one time it was magazine subscriptions. Mm -hmm. And Nanny made Dad take them to work. And he sold so many that of the entire six grades and kindergarten. So I guess it's seven grades of students selling magazines and everything. I was in the third grade. I took um, third place out of that whole school. Our, admittedly, it wasn't as big as like a big school now, but it was pretty yeah, good. Well, that was yeah. really good for it's back like 30 then. students of, of a grade year. Yeah. yeah. So, um. The the first place winner was Don Parrot. Me and Don Parrot always ended up doing things. Wasn't his father the prosecutor? <laughs> no. Grandpa. Okay. His father ran the Don, John Deere dealership. Okay. Um, Parrot's John Deere. But Donnie, how we could have so much in common and be not friends and so different, so... I could not tell you. But every year, I think, that we did the Christmas gift exchange, he got me or I got him. Yeah. Like always. And that was weird because I, w I was an adult before I realized that, like that my nice. kids, the boys only picked from the boys and the girls only picked for girls. Mm -hmm. There was no cross sex yeah. thing. And then Donnie came to our my birthday party when I turned five and picked our dog up by the by day. The day. <laughs> he thought she was a stuffed animal. She did look like it. And we were the only ones that were any good at all at archery in middle school. I mean, we just always turned up. Doing the same, the same thing. When the, when the smoke cleared, it was me and Don Parrot, you yeah. know. It was weird. He sent a very nice floral arrangement and a blanket when Dad passed away. Oh. Sherry asked me if I wanted any of that, but you know, I really didn't. I'm sure there are people who take that home as a nice memento or something yeah. of so-and-so cared for us enough to send us. But with me, it's just like, I don't want that reminder. Do you remember Mom's oval with the flower in it? Uh-huh. Fell off of uh, Leonard's mm -hmm. casket. What are you doing to that dog? Nothing. 
Hi. I'm sitting here Why just talking. Know? And listen to mom talk about Leonard's casket, and I hear, ar, ar, ar. He answered me. He's a pirate. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's got the rabies. Live in fear. Oh, but Donnie Parrot passed away not a, a while back. He was so young, and he had a heart attack. Too bad. You know, for leading the charmed life, being one of the richer kids with the popular friends and all that, yeah. he was never very happy. No. He just wasn't, you know. Did he suffer from depression? They didn't back then test for stuff like that. Mm-mm. There's... A couple kids I could tell you that dealt with mental illness, but I don't know if Don was dealing with mental illness or if he was just not happy with the situation. That something in his situation mm -hmm. made him unhappy. Yeah. It's hard to tell. Because he could put on a good front. Oh, yeah. There was this real pretty girl named Deb. Oh, my gosh, she was beautiful. She had black hair. Big, big, big dark eyes and long black eyelashes. <laughs> yeah. And then on top of it, she had a beautifully shaped face and, you know, a nice figure. And she was one of the prettiest girls in our school, not just in our class, in our school. Yeah. And uh, she was always unhappy, too. Yeah. She I see her on Facebook every now and then. She seems much happier now. Yeah. But... I always wondered what sometimes was wrong in her life. Children yeah. just don't get something they need. Or sometimes they get more than they deserve. Yeah. It's awful the way people treat their kids. Although to go in the damn grocery store anymore and see the way kids act. Oh my. I don't know how many times we've been to the grocery store and heard a kid cussing out its parent. Up here, yeah. You know, like F U, U B, U C, U, all this other stuff, you know. You know, I hope you die. Stuff like that. And they're just like, Well, let me give this to you quicker, sweetie, so you won't say these things about me. Chris would still be rock rock crawling around on the floor looking for his head. Teeth, yeah. Oh, no way. Uh uh, nope, sorry. Chris would be shocked and appalled. If yeah, he heard somebody doing that. That's us did it. Mm. If you don't raise your children, nobody else is going to do it for you, and your children are going to be terrible. And that's I, the truth. I've got one good thing to say about that. Sometimes, some point in their life, they do a turnaround, and they are not terrible adults. But generally speaking, they just. Think. That's the exception that proves the rule. Usually they're asses. Yeah. Narcissist. You're raising a narcissist who thinks if they have a fit and a temper tantrum that they'll always get what they want. And that's how you end up with Karens in the store and in life in general. I was just about to say something about that. Ah, another country heard from. That's right, people. Today's unparented kids are tomorrow's entitled people. Mm -hmm. You can stem the tide by actually parenting your damn kids. I started talking about, started off this video talking about why would you have a dog and not spoil it? Yeah. Well, why would you have a kid and not parent it? Yeah. Not want it to be the best. It Don't get be. me started. I could go off for an hour on people with seven different kids and none of them with the same dad and most of them not paying child support and their inability to practice safe sex, apparently. And all this, I, I can go off on that. Yeah. It is so irresponsible. I'm not saying don't have kids. Just have them the right way. Yeah. I'm not saying you have to marry the dad or whatever, but it would be nice if you knew who the dad was. Mm -hmm. That that would be nice. Mm -hmm. Maybe have a little more respect for yourself, too. Yeah. 
Anyway. You want to know something? Are you done being wallered, Grandma? I think so. You want to know something? What, honey? A lot of the people who are actually super irresponsible are dumber than a box of rocks. Grandma. Grandma put a reindeer on his butt. You're right, Ben, they are. This video has been so long. Ben, do you have any parting words? Let's just say this. Some of the people I've been hearing acting all entitled today, I would actually be quite peeved off if I actually saw them in the flesh. They... Okay. Are kind of like they are kind of like baboons. Unfortunately for them, the baboons don't know any better. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cap the video there. Thank you for joining us. I know it was a weird, very long video. I'll be doing good to watch it myself. Um, come back and see us on Monday, and we'll see if we got up to anything over the weekend and. We'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.